Americans for Fair Taxation presents the Weekly Chairman's Report, written by Steve Hayes, President of Americans for Fair Taxation, and recorded by Bob Paxton, a volunteer with the Florida Fair Tax Educational Association. And now, this week's Chairman's Report. Hello, I'm Bob Paxton with the AFFT Chairman's Report for Friday, November 29th, 2019. A Thanksgiving message. To all of our Fair Tax supporters, On behalf of Americans for Fair Taxation, I want to extend our best wishes for a wonderful and enjoyable Thanksgiving holiday. On the 20th day of October, 1864, Abraham Lincoln proclaimed that the last Thursday of November was to be a day of Thanksgiving. Here is, in part, the text of his proclamation. Now, therefore, I, Abraham Lincoln, President of the United States, do hereby appoint and set apart the last Thursday of November next as a day which I desire to be observed by all of my fellow citizens, wherever they may then be, as a day of thanksgiving and praise to Almighty God, the beneficent creator and ruler of the universe. And I do further recommend to my fellow citizens aforesaid that on that occasion that they do reverently humble themselves in the dust and from thence offer up penitent and fervent prayers and supplications to the great disposer of events for a return of the inestimable blessings of peace, union, and harmony throughout the land, which it has pleased him to assign as a dwelling place for ourselves and for our posterity throughout all generations. Now, one interesting thing about the above address is that even though the United States was in the middle of a bloody civil war, Lincoln was not asking for Almighty God to help the Union forces defeat the Confederates. He was asking that all of the people in the divided country give thanks for the blessings that they had received. Now, if you just follow the headlines from D.C., you would think that the chasm that exists in our country is just too deep to cross. But the American people have some core beliefs that the rabid people on both sides in D.C. just can't understand. As a people, we are basically fair, caring, and trusting of our fellow citizens. D.C. is not America. Who profits? Now, I was taught that when you see something wrong that it's not easy to fix, you ask, who profits? Generally, there are parties who are profiting from the problem. Our society doesn't seem to reward fixing problems as much as dealing with them. For example, if a drug company developed a vaccine for all forms of cancer that would eliminate cancer for 99% of people, they would make lots of money when all of us first got the vaccine, but then, except for new births, the market for their vaccine would collapse. Oncologists in hospitals would also see rapidly diminishing income from treating cancer as people with cancer were either cured or passed away. Their revenue model would be unsustainable going forward. You could use the same example as a cure for heart disease, diabetes, or a myriad of other illnesses affecting people and see that the people now providing services to those patients would soon put themselves out of a job if they actually cured the diseases. That's why there's a good bit of truth in the joke about what the pharmaceutical companies fear in human clinical testing. One is that someone might die, and the second is that the drug might actually work and render itself unnecessary for a number of years. The ruling class, the swamp, and their minions have a similar problem with the fair tax. If they pass the fair tax, a number of their income sources and ways to control us would go away. They would lose the ability to sell hidden tax benefits to groups who pay them the most money because all of the federal taxes we pay would be at the retail level and visible to all. They would lose the ability to hide from us how much each item in the federal budget is costing us. They would lose the ability to keep us all so confused that we can't see the cost of their programs that benefit only their friends and themselves, but that we all pay for with our taxes. They would lose the ability to threaten groups of us by saying they're going to confiscate wealth over a certain amount, and if we're not obedient servants, they'll make sure that their scheme reaches down to us. They would lose the ability to sell tariff benefits because the fair tax makes our exports much more competitive and, for the first time, taxes imports like all of our trading partners. 
They would lose the ability to tell us to ignore that $9 trillion of tax evasion under the income payroll tax system because every dollar of evasion could be traced directly to the amount the fair tax rate would have to be increased, and all of us will be interested in seeing our fair tax rate go down. They would lose the ability to threaten us with the demise of Social Security and Medicare because the fair tax ensures the future solvency of these programs. The fair tax would spread the cost of Social Security and Medicare over the entire consuming population and not make them continue to rely on a diminishing number of workers. They would lose the ability to tell us that only a few will have to pay for a benefit or a program because all of us could see the true cost of government in the amount of fair tax we have to pay. In conclusion, as we have Thanksgiving with our family and friends, we should be thankful for all of the benefits of living in our great nation. However, we should also be aware that the benefits of living here will be greatly increased when we pass the fair tax. Passing the fair tax, the only fair tax, will free all of us from the confusion and disarray that is now necessary for the ruling class in the swamp to continue to fleece the American people and continue to control us. It's time to pass the fair tax, the only truly fair tax. This has been the Weekly Chairman's Report, written by Steve Hayes, President of Americans for Fair Taxation. Check back every week for news and information about the fair tax and learn why the fair tax should replace our antiquated federal income tax system. If you'd like to receive a copy of the Chairman's Report in your inbox every week, sign up at fairtax.org.